Now, former cricketer Syed Kirmani has also weighed in on the captaincy row involving Virat Kohli and BCCI chief Saurav Ganguly. Syed Kirmani says that there had been lack of communication between Saurav and Virat. He stressed on communication between the selectors, BCCI, as well as the team members in order to resolve the matter. Listen in. Venk Sarkar has said that, you know, it was wrong for Saurav Ganguly to have spoken on behalf of all the selectors on the Virat Kohli captaincy issue. As someone who's probably been in cricket for as long as we can remember, what do you have to say on this? Well, I suppose every individual has his own opinion, has his own thoughts in expressing whatever. But as far as I'm concerned, I think there is a lack of communication gap between all of them. Whatever the controversy is all about, the inside stories which have come out into the social media, I won't know about the inside stuff. But what I can say is that they have to always, uh, there's uh, something known as communicating skills, which has to be communicated within one another. They have played together, right? And they, they both are at the helm of affairs. One is the captain, one is the president of the BCCI and they have played together winning the 2011 World Cup and they would have had tremendous uh, understanding within themselves and harmony within themselves. So there is some uh, snag in, in the communication there. Mm -hmm. So each one uh, is exercising their, uh, their power. Mm -hmm. You see, and um, you see the, uh, the three letter word which I have mentioned earlier, E-G-O, ego plays a very important role in uh, it's globally. Mm -hmm. You see, in the ego, unfortunately or fortunately, is embedded into every creation, according to me. Okay, so on those basis, uh, the ego plays its own role. Mm -hmm. Like for I'm in power, whether I say whatever I say, right or wrong, accept it, mm -hmm. is what is going on. Honestly, you see, each one, this is where the um, controversy takes place. Said Kirmani also added that selection committee plays an important role, but its power is less than that of the captain Virat Kohli, ODI captain, of course, Rohit Sharma, and BCCI chief Ganguly. He said that the selection committee should have spoken to Virat before finalizing the team. Remember, former India captain Dilip Veng Sarkar had said that Ganguly had no business to comment on selection of the captain, and that was the domain of the selection panel. The selection committee is, um, with due respects to them, to their experience, to their uh, knowledge. You see, they are below par than um, Virat Kohli, um, uh, Rohit Sharma and Ganguly. They are um, a huge uh, experienced guys in the field of cricket yeah. and they know who is the right uh, guy to be selected and who isn't. So on those basis, I think the selection uh, committee uh, has to only nod their heads uh, when uh, Rohit or uh, Virat Kohli speak about the players and selections. So on those basis, I think it is important with the selection committee, the communication should have taken place. The president should have spoken uh, to the uh, selection committee and then selection committee should have spoken to Virat Kohli before selecting the team. Yeah. This should happen. So there should be um, a total harmony in, in their thoughts. And that's how uh, you select a team. I was also a chairman. I had to consult with all my players. Yeah. Right? I, I talked to Gangoli. I talked to uh, um, Sachin yeah. Dravid before I could say, okay, this is the format, before we could meet officially. Mm -hmm. And then convey to uh, Saro was the captain when I was the chairman. So we, we communicated so very well. Okay, bhai, this is the team. Is it okay with you guys? Yeah, fine, Kiri bhai. Super. And all my other colleagues also, um, uh, Kiran More, Pranob Roy, um, Sanjay Jagdale, uh, Kirti Aza, they were all in my, in my team. Yeah, yeah, so right. they all coincided so very well. So you have to speak to one and all and say, Kiri bhai, this is the team. Is this okay with you guys? Right, everybody, thumbs up. Great. So that's how it should be. So how important is that, you know, um, today, like cricket has always been a game of prestige and we've seen that and today, you know, somewhere with all the politics coming into it, you know, it seems like it's had really quite an impact. Well, you see, this um, politics is a global word. <laughs> somewhere it is more, somewhere it is less, right? So we have to go along with it. We have to go flowing with it. So, but it has to be a very transparent and uh, very healthy politics 